What's up my metaverse family? So Morgan Stanley recently said that the metaverse opportunity is over eight trillion dollars. And I know I've talked about this in previous videos before, but it's absolutely insane. And I think that it can be said again and again that the metaverse is gonna be creating a lot of millionaires. So in this video, I wanna talk about the three main categories that I think the metaverse is gonna start creating millionaires. And by breaking down the three categories of people that are probably going to become millionaires, at least some of them in the very near future, maybe it will give you an idea of the type of metaverse millionaire you want to become. So if this video sounds good to you, make sure you drop a big thumbs up to help out the video in the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content. Now, let's get into it. So the first type of millionaire that I believe is gonna be coming out of the metaverse will be honestly, probably one of the most exciting type of millionaire coming out of the metaverse. And this is millionaire players. Now, for those of you guys who have not been keeping up with what this metaverse opportunity really is, for the first time in virtual worlds, players are getting real ownership, meaning that these digital items that used to be valueless when you collected them now can be sold to other people. And some items are going to be extremely valuable and extremely rare, possibly even one of one in the metaverse. And when there are very powerful items that a player is able to find or discover, that can be a way that players can all of a sudden start gathering a lot of wealth in the metaverse. Now, obviously not every single player is going to be able to find a one of one artifact, but there's going to be a lot more ways to make money in the metaverse for players. Because when these in-game economies just start having real money economies and real ownership inside of them, players are gonna find a lot of very ingenious ways to start making money in the metaverse. Because all you really have to do in order to make money as a player is provide value to someone else that someone else is willing to pay for. So I could see people making a ton of money as guides in the metaverse, showing other people how to make money doing search and runs or to gather rare artifacts or to farm coins. And when these coins are actual cryptocurrencies, you're bringing money to your actual pocket, which means some of these guides might get paid quite a fair share or quite a good amount of money in order to teach others how to do things in the metaverse that make money as well. So I just think that there's a ton of opportunity for players and honestly, I could break down what these opportunities might be probably for an entire video. I'm just thinking about Mirandus and how Mirandus is gonna have shop owners and like literally people are gonna make a living selling bread and adventurers are gonna buy bread because without bread, they can't go and slay monsters and get coins that way. So people are literally going to pay you real money for virtual bread. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, the metaverse is going to have a ton of money-making opportunities for players. And I think that it's really exciting. Now, I think a lot of people are going to fall into this player category and then also fall into the second two categories as well. So now let's talk about category number two, the type of people that are going to have the opportunity to become millionaires in the metaverse. And this opportunity is creators. I think that there is going to be a lot of opportunities to create stuff in the metaverse. Now, this can be on a ton of different levels. You can go all the way to like level zero. A lot of people have already been made millionaires and billionaires creating the actual groundwork of what the metaverse is gonna be built off of, like Ethereum and Solana and Phantasma. These chains that are actually going to secure ownership for people in the metaverse has already created a ton of wealth. But now there's a lot more building to do on top of that as well, because people are all also building applications and dApps and games on top of these blockchains, which is really creating the metaverse that we're gonna see and fill. But then inside these games, there are also gonna be creators. For example, in Blancos or the Sandbox, players can actually create entire worlds or create NFTs of their own inside the game to sell to other players. So there's going to be this whole class of creator in the metaverse that is creating cool and valuable 
resources and assets for other players in the metaverse to purchase and use in their exploration and journey or just in their journey to try and look cool uh, to their friends. So there is going to be a lot of opportunity for creators. We've already seen a lot of creators become millionaires selling art NFTs. And art is just one type of thing that you can put on an NFT to give it real ownership. You can literally attach anything like this Tesla Kila could become an NFT as well. And I could sell a real item connected to an NFT. And the whole world of, of what NFTs is really going to become is honestly quite mind blowing. But yeah, a lot of creators in the metaverse, I think are going to become millionaires, which I think is super, super exciting. But now let's talk about the third class of player or people in the metaverse that I think have a big opportunity here to become millionaires or billionaires even. And this is just investors. And I know that there are going to be people that literally fall in all three of these categories. They're going to be players, creators, and investors. So yeah, a lot of investors, once again, have already become millionaires in the metaverse, but there are a lot more to come. Remember how in the intro I said that Morgan Stanley recently said that the metaverse, the total addressable market of the metaverse is over $8 trillion? Well, currently the gaming market worldwide is not even $200 billion yet. So when you look at a total addressable market of 200 billion, which gaming is now, and how many millionaires were created just in gaming and how many multi tens of billion dollar companies have been built up just in this little gaming industry. And then you think about how the metaverse is not gonna be a $200 billion yearly market opportunity. It's gonna be an $8 trillion plus dollar yearly market opportunity. It's just gonna create so much wealth in the world. And a lot of investors, even investing small amounts in big opportunities that have big upside are gonna make a lot of money. Now, a lot of investors are also gonna fail. People are gonna pick wrong projects. Projects are going to go bankrupt. Teams are going to abandon projects. So it is important to stay wary. Also, the internet bubble did happen, even though the opportunity was real. So it's important that the enthusiasm does not run past what current usership, what current revenue generation in the metaverse actually is. And that is one fear of mine, but short term qualms and storms uh, really don't upset me that much because I know that long term, looking five years out, 10 years out, there's going to be so much actual value creation in the metaverse that as an investor, wow, I cannot really believe some of the opportunity that some of these investments I have actually have upside wise. And just so you guys know what I'm doing, and by the way, I am not a financial advisor and you guys need to do your own research. Uh, but what I'm doing is I currently have about 50% of my wealth invested in the stock market and in like the current traditional investment infrastructure. And then I have about 50% of my wealth invested in different crypto investments, be that NFTs for upcoming games or coins for different games and metaverses or blockchains or Bitcoin, just about 50% of my wealth is on the crypto side as well. And I know there will be a lot of people that say that's way too risky. Then there'll also be a lot of voices, maybe even louder saying you have way too much in the traditional finance industry, but I am not selling my Tesla. There would be way too many taxes to pay uh, if I did that. And I think that Tesla as a company still has a ton of upside ahead as well, just improving life in the real world. And I kind of like the idea that half of my wealth is towards improving digital opportunity globally and half half of my wealth is towards just like improving the planet and our physical lives. So that is just personally how I'm investing. And like I said, you guys need to make all of your own investment decisions. There's definitely not a right or wrong way to invest. There's just good companies, bad companies, good opportunities and bad opportunities to invest in. But yeah, investors that invest in good opportunities here in the metaverse, there's going to be so many millionaires and billionaires still created in this space. So if you guys enjoyed this video, me breaking down the three uh, areas from players to creators to investors that are just going to be making so much money uh, in the metaverse space, uh, which gives you kind of an idea of where you want to try to make money uh, in the metaverse, then make sure to drop a big thumbs up on your way out. And then if you just watch this whole video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss future content uploaded here on OnChain Gaming. Uh, my name is Jake, by the way, but I don't make these videos 
by myself. My brother Nate edits all of these videos. Josh, our friend, does the original intro and outro music for these videos. And my uh, book here with all my notes uh, was about to fall off my lap, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters for enabling us to make this content. We really appreciate it. And until next time, everyone, have fun roaming the metaverse. Oh,